a 44 Tools Tent Training Tutorial. This time we're tending a 2016 Civic Sedan. The sedan's a little bit different than the hatchback. These are the tools that we're going to use, and these are mostly the prep tools and the tools that we're going to use first. Here you'll see the A2901 Equalizer Heat Gun. It's a favorite of, uh, of a lot of tenters. This is the, uh, the Ulfa XA1 knife. Uh, that's an A1913 on the site. Here you can see he's overcut the film just a little bit, and this is basically weeding it out so that he can uh, get the film out easier. This is the uh, the Equalizer Pry Baby Toolkit. Uh, that's A twenty three oh five GB. Uh, it comes with a bunch of different tools. Here uh, we're using um, some skill bit set. That's FS four VSD. And uh, just unplugging the electronics here, popping the door card. And pull the door card on this one just makes it it's a very easy door card to pull so it just kind of makes it easier uh, plugging that back in pulling the window strip out uh, once that seals out of the way you can uh, easily uh, tape this up and this is our pre-taped door covering that's t2001 and uh, we're going to pull that down here cover everything up uh, we still do have the window uh, plugged in so that uh you know, we can move the window up and down easily here. Those are the super prep towels. That's a B184. Super prep towels and then some uh, 44 tools glass cleaner. That's M2748 on the website. Right here, we're using a A1506 ASR, single razor bladed handle, um, basically just to, to get some stickers off the inside of the window. Uh, here, we're using a white, scotch Bright pad cut to size, that's B171W. Then we're gonna come back in with that razor blade, make sure that the window's nice and clean, get everything off of it. Here, kind of going over the edge with that scotch Bright pad. And just some more razor cleaning. Yellow Turbo, five and a half inch. A2205, and uh, we're also using an A1105S five gallon tank sprayer. You can kind of see when that uh, when that pops up. That's what he's spraying with. Um, we're also using an A2306L cut to size. That's the red mercury sprayer, A1308. Gonna come back over to the board here. Notice that he's cleaning his hands pretty much every time he, he uh, is spraying anything just to make sure there's contamination, uh, you know, getting washed to the floor. Uh, gonna gingerly sort of pick up the tent here. You can see that the there's a lot of install uh, juice on the window, some on the film, and he's gonna lay it on there, uh, kind of move it around. This is where he's gonna get that light gap sort of just right. He's gonna move that into position and he's going to come in and he's going to kind of hold it with one hand while he does that first initial squeegee pass this is a uh, a combo blue max b 3701c plus an a 1400s5 that's a fusion handle with a uh, a blue max blade now you can see he's gonna squeegee it out and he's gonna come in with a quick foot tool. This is a A212BL on the website. And then a, sort of a final squeegee here. Notice that he's keeping the film uh, wet, install solution on there. Again, using that five gallon tank sprayer. Keep it smooth, that's gonna prevent scratching. Coming back in with that quick, quick foot tool to just make sure that the corners are down uh, right here, quick foot tool on the corner of the of the film, just making sure that everything's nice and clean. Here we're just kind of removing some fluid with one of those towels. 
This is a, uh, a gold hard card, and that is a A2300 TG. Now we're just gonna clean the outside of the window. This uh, front window is pretty much done now. And all that's left is to pull uh, the tape, put the seal back in there, uh, reattach all the electrics to the door panel, door card. Uh, this one's kind of got a hanger on the top. You're gonna pop it into place on each of the fittings. Screw that piece back in, reattach, pop it in, clean it off. Uh, this is a uh, gray towel, um, a 16 by 16 edgeless microfiber. Uh, that's T1004. And the back window here is somewhat similar to the front. We're gonna remove the door card. Again, using those Pry Baby Toolkit and uh, some of those skill uh, tools. He's gonna come in and uh, pop this door card off. We'll see when he pops it off that all the clips uh, remain. He's pulling the seal here. And then this is a pretty important step. I mean, to clean those, even on a newer car, you know, those tracks just get really dirty. Cleaning process, very much the same as the front window here. Uh, scrub pad uh, coming in with that, that uh, razor blade. Just making sure that there's no debris or just build up on that window. And this, you know, the cleaning step is really gonna ensure that, uh, that the uh, install is good. You can, you can be the best installer, but if the prep isn't right, uh, it's not gonna look good. This one uh, looks like he didn't tape it at first. Uh, this is a, a much drier process sort of than the rest. You know, when you're using the install solution, it gets a lot more wet. So uh, putting that prep tape, we could have done this step first on the back window, but uh, anytime, again, that five gallon keg, spraying that, tacking it to the board, and then he's gonna put some install solution, five and a half yellow turbo here to just squeegee off, uh, again, making sure that there's no uh, airborne particulates that have gotten on the window between the cleaning and, uh, and now. So uh, get some install solution on there. He's gonna peel this back. Again, notice cleaning his hands at almost every step, just making sure that no contamination uh, is added. Pretty much the same as the front. You can see him working it inside the seals, uh, left and right there, and now he's gonna match up the uh, that light gap, uh, kind of move it around. Again, hold it with one hand, and then he's gonna sort of do that first squeegee swipe. Now you can see he's stopping just short of the edge, leaving a little bit of that juice uh, install solution there at the edges. Gonna come in with that blue quick foot tool uh, kind of sort those edges out. I, I would note here too that it's got PTFE edge tape. The part number is PTFE. Uh, and that just makes sure that the edge of these cards is a little bit softer. He's got it on a couple of the cards he's going to use to install this car. And then uh, kind of coming in again, working the uh, installation fluid out, still leaving a little bit on the edges so as not to crease the film. Here you can see he's using a little more effort here, sort of a final pass. Gonna come in with the blue quick foot and just sort of perfect and work out uh, all of the fluid from the edges of the film now. Again here wiping just to make sure all that fluid is gone, that none can sort of seep back. And he's gonna give it a little assistance to get up past that, uh, that seal there. And then uh, sort of a, just a final finishing touch here. And uh, this time he's using, uh, that's the dash towel uh, to clean that off, uh, similar to the uh, 
the gray tile used on the front window. Dash tile is T1007. It's gonna reinstall everything, uh, put the seal back in, put the door panel back on. Again, these are pop on, pop off uh, door panels. Pretty straightforward on this car. So that is uh, the final cleaning here. Again, 44 tools glass cleaner. Gray towel back up from earlier. That gold card there is just gonna kind of bump that in, make sure a final finish. Uh, here we're doing a quarter window. The cleaning is pretty much like it was on the front, a uh, real similar process, same tools. Applying some install solution here, uh, coming in with that five and a half uh, yellow turbo, uh, just kind of, this is a cleaning swipe here, just making sure everything is out, um, making sure to get around the corners, get some solution on there, some solution on the film. Gonna sort of gingerly place that in place and you'll see when you're placing this you, know, you want to make sure it doesn't touch anything that you haven't cleaned that's number one thing but number two is not to tack it all the way down you can see he's gonna leave it a little mobile on there and get that light gap to zero uh, then he's gonna come in and sort of lightly squeegee with that five and a half yellow turbo this is a uh, pink triage X corner tool that's a a 105 X and then just some cleanup, getting the fluid out of there, and uh, and that's done. These are the prep tools, stuff that we're gonna use for the back window here. Uh, you can see that Unger uh, squeegee, that big 12 inch Unger squeegee is gonna be something that we did not use on the front. Here, we're just still using uh, that B171W uh, scrub pad cut to size, and he's gonna just kinda go over there, clean it real good. This is a... Uh, bounce dryer sheet that he's going to come in here and uh, you can see he's cut a little piece of the film to put over these stickers that the customer requested stay on the car so that's like the backing of the film that's left on the window there same process of weeding and overcut as was on the front here's some of the tools that are going to be used on the inside he's going to get that all staged and uh, set up there we'll go over those tools as he uses them And again, quite a lot. You'll see the bulldozer, and uh, that's probably going to be one of the tools that's most important. Um, that and the whale tail, probably. Now we're going to shrink this back window. The shrinking of the back window process is uh, pretty important. Here he's just kind of going to tack down, and that's going to just like sort of almost like friction tack to that uh, bounce dryer sheet under there. Uh, that's a gold Bondo that he's used. Again, that gold Bondo has some PTFE uh, coated tape on the edge of it. Here, he's just wetting the edges so that they stay a little more tacked um, to the film as he's, uh, to the window to the film, as, uh, as he's gonna shrink it here with the equalizer heat gun. And this is the A2315M. That's the Mango Smart Card. Uh, and again, it has PTFE edge tape on it. And you can see him in here with that equalizer heat gun. Equalizer is a favorite just because it's, you know, we've even run these over with cars and they still work. Not that I recommend that, but it's just one of the more diehard uh, heat guns. So we offer a variety, including, you know, a very inexpensive one from Wagner that we also use. You'll see us use that in another uh, video. but. This is kind of a favorite. He goes to this one a lot. Uh, again, a little more pricey, but like, I think pretty, actually pretty affordably priced when you put it up against some of the higher end heat guns. So he's just kind of working it uh, a little bit at a time up towards the edge and uh, just shrinking this. And you'll watch, if you watch, you know, sort of the reflection, you can see that he doesn't stop until it truly is completely shrunk flat against the 
the glass. I think a lot of people, especially first timers, including myself, you know, you kind of get it flat and you think, okay, that's flat enough. It really does need to be truly, totally shrunk. And you can see um, that's why we've left this section a little longer. Just so you can see, this isn't necessarily a quick process and it's one that uh, takes a little bit of time to, to master. Going over it with that mango uh, hard card with that uh, PTFE tape on it until it's totally flat and uh, flush with the glass. You can see that bounce uh, dryer sheet material kind of on the foggy there on the, uh, the window. It's important to say too that you want to wait till that is kind of tacky and dry um, until you put the film on it. Um, getting kind of situated and uh, he's going to go ahead and install this dash towel uh, go ahead and put that down just to make sure no water is getting kind of passed anywhere and then do the same cleaning process that he would have done on the side windows uh, he's using this product as a B176 it's called the scrubber and it basically has a, a white scrub pad on the end of it uh, it allows you to kind of get some some reach there and not you know be all over the place. It also allows you to use some good pressure and get that real clean. Coming in with one of those blue towels. Now just to kind of finish the clean, make sure he's, he's you notice he's going around the edges and just making sure there's no debris in there. Uh, he's going to use a gold card wrapped in one of these blue towels and just kind of come in here and make sure even on the edges down below, he's sticking it in there and, and getting even behind that third brake light there and uh, making sure there's no debris in there. Again, you can see as he goes here, kind of working in a line, making sure it's clean and debris free. Now we're gonna move to the outside of the window here and uh, some solution. And this is where we're going to separate from the liner, but, but also put the liner back down on it so that we can transport it into the car without adding or introducing any debris. So he's gonna uh, wet that down completely uh, and he's gonna do each side and then he's gonna come back in and cut only the liner in the middle so that he can separate it easily once he's in the car. This is, uh, you'll see a couple different options here uh, on these videos, but this is one way of, of sort of getting the window inside the car, getting the tent inside the car. Here he's using the uh, A2905SE, that's the SCS4 Ulfa scissors. And all the way to the end, he's going to snip that. Then just make sure uh, it's, you know, just on there. So that liner is just protecting that film from getting any debris in it. I call it the, the double scroll. He's going to scroll each side to the middle. Uh, it's going to make a nice compact little piece and give him the uh, ability to take it in there without introducing any, uh, any debris or anything into the tent. So I think uh, definitely a cool technique. I'm not real good at this, but uh, the will is. Here we're gonna do one final clean. Uh, blue towel. This is the Unger channel squeegee, A1412, and the A1400E Unger handle. Uh, bigger pieces like that help with flat glass and uh, large back windows. Again, coming in, just making sure that this is totally saturated. Again, that's why that dash towel is there. Gently separate the film from the, uh, from the backing material, sneaking it behind the third brake light here. And you can see having this double scroll, he's, he's, he's able to not get any dirt introduced onto that, uh, 
onto that window. And I think it's a great technique. It's actually one I, I hope to master. Uh, Will has a lot more years of tinting than I do. The tent is still mobile on the window and he's gonna move it around and just get it into place and then make sure the light gap is where he wants it. And then he's gonna use a couple tools that are specific to back windows to, to kind of get it where he wants it. So this, as you can see, it's still real mobile, hasn't been squeegeed out. He's just making sure that the fit is exactly where he wants it. And once it is, you can see he's gonna now kind of make it so that it's a little flatter, working out any of the huge bubble areas. And this is called the, uh, the Spihar Whale Tail. It's A2406 awesome tool uh, you can actually heat that up and uh, and mold it to the window so the uh, the Spihar whale tails is, is a nice tool this is the uh, automotive bulldozer automotive bulldozer has a rubber end on the end of it and it's a 207 uh, great for back windows especially like really uh, narrow apertures like this one kind of really gets narrow down at the bottom there and uh it's uh it's a must have to finish it out he's going to come in here with a a214u platinum easy reach ultra and then kind of alternate back and forth with a couple different squeegees to just uh to get all of the fluid out uh, the auto bulldozer and the reach tool, which he didn't use on this car, but those are two tools that are kind of key to installing back windows and even windshields. And you've seen him here using an A215, that's the Stroke Doctor. Another great uh, back window, front window tool. Coming in with that blue quick foot to do the corners and then the gold hard card again just making sure this is called bumping out the edges just kind of making sure this gets all the the towel on there sort of absorbs any of the fluid that gets squeezed out and then he's going to just clean it with that dash towel kind of get up any of the moisture that the dash towel didn't get and that is pretty much it he's now going to clean the exterior fully Check, do one final check and make sure he doesn't have any imperfections. And that's how you tent a 2016 Civic. 44 tools. Tried, tested, trusted.